Hello guys, this is Ryo69501 and welcome to my channel. Well, uh, on this video I'm gonna give you my thought about Justice League issue number 39. As you can see on the cover, well, basically what you see on the cover happens on the inside. Which that hardly ever happened. But, on this one, really happened. So, the story of Amaso virus continues. You see, the thing is that the Amaso virus which was created by Lex Luthor, kind of like a uh, virus against Kryptonians, just because, believe it or not, at least on the New 52, Lex Luthor is kind of a little bit of paranoid, just like Batman in such a weird kind of way. So the thing is, so he created the Amaso virus. He's a virus that will kill the Kryptonians is ever is gonna be one because just being two of them Superman and Supergirl so Lex Luthor thought well if one shows up and the second one show up maybe an army will show up the thing is that well that the muscle virus did not work for the Kryptonian uh, physio physiolo uh, physiology I think it's called I'm not sure anyway if I'm wrong let me know Anyway, so the thing is that uh, that the virus actually infected all the superheroes except for Wonder Woman because she's a god. And Superman World because he's Kryptonian. And Lex Luthor World because he used that armor. And a couple of more superheroes. But, but basically those mainly three superheroes. Even Batman he got possessed by it. The thing is that that virus or whoever get infected by it will mimic the superheroes powers or the power of the superheroes standing close to them. So that's pretty fun. By the way I always like Jeff Jones writing. He's kind of he's like he like he like to use a lot of mystery. That's what I like about Jeff Jones. So as you can see here we see Superman here, well just one arm, Lex Luthor and Wonder Woman going against all the superheroes. Plus here we got the patient, uh, patient cell. So the thing is that they managed to find a cure to it, believe it or not, in a convenient way. <laughs> I thought they were going to find it for the next issue, but I guess not. Maybe, although out of the story, another story will come out. Not after this one, but sometime in the future, there's going to be a new, whole new storyline out of this Amazon virus, which I'm excited about. So the thing is that we see the superheroes fighting everybody. Actually, this is superheroes versus superheroes. Flash, you get a beat to Lex Luthor. Look at that. He just beat him up big time. Batman, he tried to to kill Superman, which I don't know how, but he, like I said, whoever get infected by it, there's a superhero close by, they can mimic that superhero. Now, they manage a way to kind of like subdue the superheroes that they got infected. And believe it or not, they got subdued by Captain Cold. Why? Well, because Captain Cold has no superpowers. He used a gun, so they cannot mimic powers that comes out something that is not organic, which that was very clever in the part of Jeff Jones. Like I said, that's why I like his writing. Now, this story was really good. I really like it. I really like it. I mean, after this story arc is over, I'm going to reread the whole thing because I love it. So, basically this whole story arc goes, not story arc, but this comic book goes around Supergirl. Not Supergirl, Wonder Woman. I mean, she's the main superhero of this specific comic book, which I like it. They give chance to Wonder Woman to shine. I believe in when I mean that she shine, 
she's shy, big time. So, as you can see here, she's finding everybody, everybody's possessed. And I like this, uh, I like this uh, panel here. Now, this is pretty nice panel. I like this. And I love the way she kicks Shazam big time. So, eventually, they confront patient Seth. So Lex Luthor, he needs Superman's DNA to find a cure to it. The thing is that, well, it did not work. How they find a cure? Well, I'm not going to spoil it because I am not going to spoil it. Just in case that some of you did not read the comic books, but I'm not going to spoil it. So they find a cure. The thing is that, I know I like this panel here. Check this out. Oh, look at it. Mm, excuse me. I like the art. The colors are, are awesome. The colors. Check this out. Just awesome. Now, this is a bad Shazam, uh, Shazam Flash. Just punch Wonder Woman real bad. And then he beat him up, beat her up on the floor. So, ouch. <coughs> so, the thing is that once that they find a cure, the humans that they got possessed, got infected by the virus, well, they went back to normal. But, but there here's the twist. That's why I like Jeff Jones writing because every time that he finishes a story arc, it ends in a way that will continue for the next story arc or is either after this one or sometime in the future, which that's what I like Jeff Jones storytelling style. The thing is that the people who got cured by the uh, muscle virus, well, they went back to normal. Yes, but they have some reminiscence. Some of them kept some of the powers that they adopted from our superheroes, from Shazam, Flash, and all, and all those guys. So that maybe in the future we're going to have a bunch of superpower guys or superpower civilians, we don't know, at least I don't know. But I would like to see that story because it will look very, it will, it will look really, really, really good. So I'm looking forward for the the next Amazon. And also, they also forgot to mention that the patient said, well, he mutated from being half dead, half alive, walking dead type of zombie, well, he become, he kind of like mutated to become more stronger, more human-like. Still ugly though, but human-like. <laughs> so, that was a plus. So, overall, I like this particular combo. I really like it. So, I will give it 5 out of 5. Well, guys, this is it. Till later. Bye.